Okay, moving on to uh, the next one uh, from Icarov of is the stoichiometry. Uh, and so if I go over to uh, that question, that's the same for standard level as well. All right, so uh, the question is 2.5, uh, 2.478 grams of phosphorus. Um, calculate the amount in moles of phosphorus used. So, uh, so always do your labeling um, and your formula. So it's a mass that we're given. And so we write 2.478 grams. We go to our data booklet. Uh, phosphorus there is 30.97 and there's four of those uh, and so if you do the math on that you're going to get 0 0.0200 grams of uh, white phosphorus P4 okay uh, and so the, the next question is um, is this going to run out first or is this one going to run out first which one's the limiting reagent uh, and so that's uh, concentration equals number of moles more volume for that one uh, and so the number of moles of um, OH minus is C times V. So that's 0 0.1 decimeters cubed uh, times 5 moles per decimeters cubed. So that's 0 0.5 moles of OH minus. Now the, uh, the ratio is 1 to 3. So uh, I'll just write that in there. So 1 mole of P4 is to 3 moles of OH minus and uh, it's the numbers work out easier if I do this one so it doesn't really matter but so if I've got 0 0.02 moles I do a cross multiplication uh, and so x equals 0 0.06 moles of OH minus alright uh, but I have 0 0.5 moles therefore in excess and please write it really really clearly limiting reagent it's not that clear uh, is P4 because I have uh, I have heaps and heaps of sodium hydroxide and I only need 0 0.06 okay so uh, next is how much excess do you have I'm just going to write, just make up a formula and label it uh, just so you don't get lost or do the wrong thing and transcribe because that just happens too often. Uh, uh, total minus needed or required or something uh, and so that's 0 0.5 minus uh, 0 0.06 and so that gives us 0 0.44 moles of NaOH uh, left over. All right, I think it's really important that you do the labeling, the formulas, and keep yourself, keep it all clear, keep the communication good, so you don't stuff it up. And do that for your IAs too, by the way, or EEs. Okay, so where are we now? So that's quite a lot of work. Um, only three marks. So the last one, this one's quite unusual. STP, they usually do PV because NRT, so that's just going to be one molus 22.7, which is in your data booklet. Uh, so to determine the volume of, of phosphine, um, so I, I don't know how many moles of phosphine I've used yet, so uh, one mole of P4 is two, where's the phosphine, here, alright, so, so one is to one, uh, one mole of, of P4 is to one mole uh, of phosphine, uh, I could do a cross multiplication on that, uh, just, for the, just for the sake of it, uh, I think I will. Uh, it's 0 0.002 is to x, therefore x equals 0. When you do cross multiplication, uh, 0 02 uh, pH 3. Alright, so uh, another cross multiplication 1 mole of any gas is to 22.7 liters decimeters cubed at STP. Alright, so if I've got 0 0.02, it's to x, cross multiply that, uh, so 22. times 0 0.02, all right, and so that's 0 0.454 decimeters cubed of phosphine, and that's your answer. Okay, hope that was helpful. If you've got more questions, please put them down in the uh, description, in the comments below. I've also got more limiting reagent questions. So if you 
if you go to my website here and click on stoichiometry um, and you just drag yourself down a fair bit um, I'm not quite sure what the problem was it might have been limiting reagents there's heaps of limiting reagent questions there it may have, it may have been the combination to the gas normally they give these ones uh, but this particular one it was STP ones uh, so there were these ones here okay so all the different types of stoichiometry questions you could possibly need to get practice on are all here as well if you want more practice okay